look, question number two, it's for 200 pounds. Which of these is a popular spicy condiment? Worcestershire sauce, Lincolnshire cream, Gloucestershire dip, Derbyshire custard. It's Worcestershire sauce. It's the right answer, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're on a roll. <laughs> X, no publicity. Right, have a look for 300 quid. Question number three, here we go. Which of these is the title of a UK national daily newspaper? The Defender, The Protector, The Guardian, The Preserver. It's C, The Guardian. It's The Guardian's right answer. You've got 300 pounds. <laughs> right? Yes, have a look, question number four for 500 quid. Here it is. In which country is Mount Fuji? Pakistan, Iran, Japan, Turkey, Mount Fuji. It's Japan. It's the right answer, you got 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 500 quid, you got the last point, Tom, at which you could go home with the thing you've been dreading, go home with nothing at all. Have a look, question number five is worth a thousand, here it is. Which part of the theatre shares its name with a collection of pictures? Stalls, gallery, circle, wings. It's a gallery. You got a thousand pounds. What I'm talking about. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Taking you two days and nights, you got a grand. Good man. OK, you've got a thousand pounds. Uh, guarantee you're ten away from a million. Serious money now. Have a look, question number six for two thousand pounds. Here it is. In Scotland and Northern England, what is a bairn? Cake, table, child, hat. It's a child. Not a cake? No. Final answer. Final answer. It's right, you've got two thousand pounds. <laughs> How come you brought Steve then? I mean, I'm sure he's a very nice man, but um, why don't you bring Katie? Katie was a bit more nervous than me, actually. <laughs> what a team, what a family. And uh, now she said she'd rather not. Yeah. Have a look at question number seven. It's for £4,000. You would lose a 1000 at this point. You're guaranteed a 1000 Here we are. You're nine away from one million. Question seven of possible 15. Here it is. Who played Sandy in the 1978 film Grease? Olivia Newton-John, Kate Bush, Petula Clark, Lulu. <laughs> See it's, the film? Yeah. It's uh, Olivia Newton-John. Not Lulu? No, not Lulu. Well, and you've got £4,000. <laughs> OK, question number eight. You still haven't used a lifeline. What kind of general meeting is an EGM? What kind of general meeting is an EGM? Emergency, early, extended, extraordinary. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's not early, that's for certain. An EGM, emergency, extended, or extraordinary, if you don't think it's early. It's extraordinary. Want to play? Yes, please. Extraordinary. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've just won £8,000. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Because your accent's definitely um, a bit a bit northern, isn't it? Yet you live in Essex. Yeah, I was actually born in Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Forget it. OK, you've got £8,000, wherever you're from. Um, you've got um, seven questions between you and a million. This is starting to build up a bit, Tom. You've got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. You have not yet needed any lifelines. Have a look at question number nine. Here it is. In which decade... Was the hovercraft invented? 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. Uh, 
You're either thinking something very, very intelligent, or you haven't got a clue. I think I can discount two of them. Okay, that's good. Have a look. Which ones? 20s and 30s. Why? I think it's way too early for the harbour craft. I'm fairly sure I'm one of them. You've got all those lifelines, you haven't used any yet at all. I'd like to... Phone a friend? Phone a friend, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who are we going to phone? Um, I'm going to phone Martin. Tell him the question, four possible answers. OK, 30 seconds. Hello? Martin? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Good evening, Chris. Good evening. Um, I've got Tom here, Tom Davis. He's going well. He's on £8,000. Right, lovely. Martin, yeah, good. With your help, we can get him up to £16,000. Well, I hope so. OK, well, ne next voice here will be Tom. So tell you a question. There are four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth sixteen grand. OK. OK. OK, good luck, Martin. Tom, your time starts now. In which decade was the hovercraft invented? The 1920s, 1930s, 1940s or 1950s? Um, I'm fairly sure it's the 50s. Okay. I'm about 80-something percent sure. That's what I thought it was as well, so... I think it's 1950 because it's cockerel and he's only just died, so I'm fairly sure it's 50. OK, thank you, Martin. OK. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'll go 1950s. You lose £7,000 if you're wrong. Yep. 1950s. Final answer. Final answer. OK, we'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Join us again after... <laughs> Welcome back to the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Just for the break, Tom Davis from, well, Brentwood now and just about everywhere else in the world before that, um, was asked this question. He stood to lose £7,000. He was on £8,000 at that point. In which decade was the hovercraft invented? 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s? He used his first lifeline, phone a friend. Uh, Martin, his mate, reckoned it was probably 1950s. Tom went for the 1950s. Still confident? Reasonably. You should be. It's right. You got 16,000. <laughs> and as Martin said, it was. It was invented by uh, Sir Christopher yeah. Cockrell. You got 16,000 pounds. You are one away from the next big milestone of 32 grand. You've got 50 50 left, and you still got to ask this audience. Yeah, OK, have a look at <laughs> even in the dark. Yeah. Right, OK, question number 10 is worth 32,000, but, Tom, be aware, if you did give me a wrong answer, you would lose 15,000 pounds, OK? You yeah. don't have to play this question. You have got those lifelines. Have a look at question number 10 for 32,000 pounds. The mountain standard time zone refers to which mountains? Urals, Alps, Andes, Rockies. It's for £32,000. It's a guaranteed minimum amount you go away with. Right, you had to check on the spot. But if you give me a wrong answer, you plunge back to £1,000. It's the Rockies. What is it, then? It's one of the time zones in the US. The Mountain Standard Time Zone. Want to play? Yes, please. Rockies. Final answer. Final answer. Still confident? Mm. I'd go like that, but you wouldn't tell, would you? <laughs> uh, hopefully. Hopefully it's right. You've just won £32,000. Good on, Tom. Tell you what, Tom Davis from uh, from Brentwood or <laughs> wherever you're from, um, have a look at that. Thirty-two thousand pounds. You can take it. Go on, put it in your you. pocket. Go on. Hold it up. You definitely go home with at least that amount of money. Um, you got thirty-two thousand pounds at this moment. You've still got two lifelines. 
and you were five away from one million pounds. Starting to shake. You're actually, calm, I think I've calmed down now. <laughs> well, a, check, a check like that helps. It does. You got thirty-two thousand pounds guaranteed. Okay, which is a good position to be in. Have a look at number eleven. It's worth sixty-four thousand pounds. Tom, you might as well play this. Whatever happens, you can use both those lifelines if you need to. Um, you can't lose on this. You've still got thirty-two thousand pounds. If you give me a wrong answer, it doesn't matter. So have a look at number eleven. It's for sixty-four thousand pounds. If a person is narcoleptic. What does he or she keep doing? Stealing, starting fires, falling asleep, drinking. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's not starting fires. <laughs> Why not? Because that would be pyro something. Hopefully. Uh. Stealing, starting fires, falling asleep or drinking? I think I'd like to ask the audience. Oh, good, they'll be delighted. Oh, they'll love this one. No pressure, audience, it's just worth £64,000. Right, on your keypads, everybody. See what happens. Uh, Tom, you don't have to take their answer. Have a look, see what happens. If a person is narcoleptic, what does he or she keep doing? A, B, C or D on your computer keypads, please. All vote now. <laughs> 84 per cent, that's very high, actually. Mind you, a lot of them were nodding off when they voted. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, that is very high. Yeah, I think with... 32 and really nothing to lose. I will definitely be going with the audience on that. Falling asleep. Final answer. Final answer, falling asleep. You just won 64,000 pounds. Come on, come on, come on. Give us that one back. Thank you. I'll put that one down there. you still got that. That's guaranteed. But at the moment, you've got this amount of money. At the moment, you've got the cheque for £64,000. But we don't want to give you that. I'll give you that with pleasure, Tom. But we don't want to give you that. The next cheque is the one you want for £125,000. And you've still got one lifeline. You've still got a 50-50. Have a look. This is question number 12 of a possible 15. What type of creature is a Katie did? Fish, bird, insect, frog. I have no idea. I'll use the 50-50. OK, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Tom the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I think it's bird. Why? £125,000. I think it's bird. Why? <laughs> because I don't think it's an insect. <laughs> <coughs> A lot of money to lose, it's up to you. Do you want to play? <laughs> I'll play bird. Final answer. Final answer, bird. It's the wrong answer. <laughs> it is an insect. It's actually a type of grasshopper. Hey, you still go away with £32,000. I'll give you the other cheque again now. Give me a big hand. Tom goes away, £32,000. Better off. Well done, Tom. Congratulations. Well done. Cheers. Cheers.
So, Tom Davis takes £32,000 back to Brentwood in Essex after two days trying. Now, time to see who's next to play for a possible £1 million.